Hello everybody, I'm back today with another Hunter Guild video. Earlier today, the drop rates for all of the rewards have been announced, as well as a new useful mechanic that is going to help speed up your rumor completions. Let's get right into the rewards. Starting off with the Guild Hunter outfit, many of you guys have been probably chasing this. It is a 1 in 50 from any tier of loot sack, meaning you can get it from Novice, Adept, Expert, Master. Now the Huntsman's Kit has been updated. You can store a lot more items in there, such as ropes, fishing nets, and that is also going to be a 1 in 50 chance. However, you can only get it from Adept, Expert, or Master. You cannot get this from a Novice Loot Sack. And finally, the beloved Quetzal Pet. This is going to be a 1 in 1,000 chance. However, you can only get this from Expert or the Master Loot Sack. It's also good to realize that there is no difference between getting it from an Expert or a Master Loot Sack, so it may be in your interest if you're hunting for the Quetzal Pet to do Expert Rumors if you feel like you can complete them at a faster rate and get more sacks per hour that's going to speed up your chance at getting the pet. And this has kind of already been known, um, but the Whistle Blueprints are also 1 in 50. The Enhanced Whistle Blueprint will allow you to store up to 20 charges in a Whistle, and the Perfected Whistle will allow you to store up to 50 charges. The Perfected Whistle can only be obtained through Expert or master loot sacks and if you are going unlucky you'll get a guaranteed enhanced whistle blueprint at 100 rumors and you'll get a guaranteed perfected whistle blueprint at 250 rumors in addition the rates for actually acquiring the creature parts the unique items have also been released here's the full table going over the creature part drops box traps such as chinchampas and jerboas is going to be a 1 in 50 chance Pitfall traps like the antelopes or larupias or kayats, this is a 1 in 15. Butterflies are a 1 in 75. Birds are 1 in 20. Deadfall traps such as pyre foxes or saber tooth kebits are 1 in 15. Tracking kebits are going to be also 1 in 15. Falconry tasks are 1 in 10. No surprise here, it's definitely one of the best and fastest tasks. Herbivore is a 1 in 7 chance. And lizards, so red salamanders, orange salamanders, or the new teku salamanders, these are going to be 1 in 25 at obtaining the unique item. Now, if you've done some rumors, you might still feel like these rates don't really matter because goddamn, you've gone like 500 butterflies dry and you're checking your rumor like five times just to make sure you're still doing Moonlight Moths. Well, there's actually going to be a new system in place to make sure that rumors don't go as long anymore. Rumors now have a pity system. Basically, what this means is that in addition to the normal rate, you also get a guaranteed drop once you've passed a certain threshold. Think something like the Vorkath head. It has a 1 in 50 chance of dropping it, so you could get it on your first Vorkath kill, but once you've killed Vorkath 50 times, you get the guaranteed drop. This is to ensure that you can still kind of go lucky and, you know, get spooned an early creature reward, but you're not going to see those insanely long, like 300 Chinchampa tasks anymore. Every hunter creature has a different pity threshold, but usually it's around 1.8 to about two times um, the creature part rates that were given. So here I am working on my red Chinchampa task. Red Chins, just like other box traps, have a 1 in 50 chance of giving you the drop. I've got 90 so far, so... You might say that I'm a little dry, and typically the idea of being due for a drop, that doesn't really work because you're not anywhere closer than when you started. However, I have a funny feeling I'm pretty close. Remember, we now have pity timers, which means that once I pass a certain threshold, I'm guaranteed to get the drop, and coincidentally, that drop is exactly this, 94. Tested it three times, and for red chins, it's exactly 94. And the neat thing is that if I went ahead and destroyed that red chin tuft and I go ahead and check a new one, I'm going to get it again. So not only is it guaranteed at 94, it's basically guaranteed. Once you pass that threshold, you're guaranteed until you go and turn in your task. Although I did check if you switch your task, it will also reset. So just be careful you don't accidentally switch your task. Once again, I'll destroy the tuft, go ahead and check the new one, and you can see I get the tuft again. So yeah, 94, that's the number. And this is really awesome because now you actually have a number that you can kind of strive for and kind of make some progress towards. And if you get lucky and you hit the drop rate early, I mean, that's great. You can still go turn it in and get it done faster. Um, but you're not just kind of working endlessly and just waiting for a drop. You do have an end goal in mind. It's almost like if you did your Slayer tasks but there was like a chance to just finish the Slayer task early. That's basically how I see it. Now, as for these pity timers, I have not been able to go through every single task. You'll have to forgive me, but I did go test a couple of the more common ones around the expert master level. So hopefully this at least helps you get started and please feel free to contribute on your own. As I mentioned with red chins, the drop rate is one in 50, but their pity timer is 
94. Orange salamanders as lizards have a 1 in 25 chance, but the pity timer is 46. This is also true for red salamanders. Their pity timer is also going to be 46. Sunlight antelopes are a pitfall, which means they have a 1 in 15 chance. Their pity is 28. And finally, dashing kevitz, very popular falconry task. These guys, as a falcon task, have a 1 in 10 chance, and their pity is 18. I really love this change. I think it's going to help make tasks feel a lot more consistent and not make you feel like you're half an hour into a task with no end goal in sight and you're just hunting nonstop. So if that's been discouraging you from doing rumors, I definitely encourage you guys to give them a try, especially now that we have the drop rates and you can see how close you are. Good luck to everybody hunting for the pet. One in 1,000 is quite a bit, so I wish you the best. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and as always, happy hunting.